interesting matchup. We got a purple belt. Sean O'Malley's a purple belt. Uh, and Gomi, his re his background is mostly wrestling. He's very good at submissions too. It's gonna see we're gonna see uh, um, what's more valuable that background in wrestling or the purple belt in jujitsu. And O'Malley, a very exciting mixed martial arts fighter, has a lot of striking attacks, likes to spin and, and use his reach here. Now he's he's taller than Gomi, and sometimes that can be an advantage for a wrestler. Yeah, length is huge. The taller you are, the better. The more advantages you have as a grappler, your, your darces, your chokes are uh, a, a lot more dangerous, um, harder to pass your guard. Yet height is, it's like basketball. Height definitely is an advantage when it comes to grappling. Takanori Gomi has 36 wins on his professional mixed martial arts record, six of those wins by way of submission. He'd love to get one here to kind of put the momentum behind Team Pride. Approaching a minute into our regulation period and uh, fight is yet to hit the floor. See collar tie here. Referee warning both men to turn up the pace. As requested, Comey goes for a shot, but O'Malley shuts it down. Now back to this upper body tie. So far, nobody wants to pull guard here. They're fighting for the top position. We saw Gomi go for that takedown on the outside, shooting that shot, and O'Malley was wise to it. And now Gomi goes for it again and again. O'Malley able to swallow right out of it. He's taking decent shots. Just not able to finish him. We'll see how long the ref lets him stand and wrestle. A lot of this collar tie here early. Referee intervenes once again. Gomi saying something to his corner. I'm not sure if Gomi's hurt or just uh, tired at this point because it looked like maybe he had some kind of rib injury or something. That might be the case. O'Malley trying to turn up the pace here a little bit. TJ DeSantis, Eddie Bravo, we are inside the Red Rock Hotel and Casino tonight in Las Vegas for Quintet Ultra. Appreciate you joining us for this historic night on UFC Fight Pass. Now O'Malley in on a guillotine. Oh, he's deep. That's real deep there. It could be over. There's a tap. It's over. Sean O'Malley makes a huge statement for Team UFC tapping out Takanori Gomi. That's huge. Being up by one is massive. He doesn't necessarily have to win the next one. As long as he doesn't get tapped, they're still up. Nicely done, Sean O'Malley. Let's make it official. The time, two minutes, 47 seconds. Your winner by Guillotine, representing Team UFC, Sean Sugar O'Malley. Eddie, walk us through this fight ending sequence here for Sean O'Malley. Yeah, it's one of the dangers of taking deep shots you leave your neck open and this is this is quite common take a take a deep shot and against a guy who's really good at guillotines oh man that was deep that was real deep gomi force a tap sean o'malley picking up a huge win for team ufc